socialize the losses. The Fed, as you may or may not know, is not a public institution, it's a private institution. Its shareholders, which means who owns it, there's a list of them, but it includes the Rothschilds, Rothschild banks, uh, the uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, descendant, uh, Goldman Sachs, etc. I mean, you could look it up. And as a privately owned entity, it has a strong profit motive, and as you may or may not be surprised, it has mechanisms to privatize the gains and socialize the losses. So in terms of the socialization part, socialized part, the taxpayer's on the hook for its losses. That's why, for example, Steve Mnuchin was quoted as saying that the Treasury is, is perfectly uh, willing and, and expects, or I don't know if he said expects, but uh, is okay with the uh, coronavirus programs, like the CARES programs, losing money, losing capital, and by extension, the taxpayers being on the hook for that the uh, programs that are administered by the Fed. So the Fed administers the programs and they lose money and the taxpayer is responsible for them. Whereas the profits are privatized because it's very murky, but you know if you study it, the Fed is, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe from what I've read, that the Fed is not legally required to share all its profits with the Treasury. And uh, it proactively, in 1947, agreed to share, I believe, some profits. Um, but it pays out dividends, it has a surplus fund. And, uh, you know, so the profits are privatized, but the The, uh, the losses are socialized. So if you thought the bailout of the banks was bad, I mean, the Fed is basically the ultimate bank that, that holds the reserves on the other banks. So it's not just the Treasury that's doing, you know, bailouts and uh, making it too big to fail. It's also the Fed. You know, the Fed and the Treasury obviously work closely together even though what is public and what is private, I guess that's the ultimate private-public partnership you could uh, say or think of it that way. But, I mean, there is... I'm not an expert on what is the degree of the independence between the Fed and the Treasury. I'm not sure exactly how those dynamics work, so I, I don't want to get into that part of it. But the the arrangement as it works now is that the Treasury, in practical terms, is, is subsidizing the losses of the Fed. So the Treasury is us. We are the Treasury. The U.S. government, Treasury, like you pay your taxes to the Treasury. So if the Treasury is... And Mnuchin said that the Treasury is okay with losing money on these Fed programs. And when we lose money, that the money that we've lost is our money. So obviously there's going to be protests you know, when things get really, really bad as they have and if they get worse. Uh, because the Fed is also moving out further on the risk curve. So at the beginning, all they bought was treasuries, which are very safe. And then, then they bought mortgage-backed securities, which are probably a little bit less safe, obviously, because if the housing market goes down, or somewhat less safe, because that, you know, the housing bubble in 2008 caused tremendous uh, devastation and that theoretically could happen again and now they're moving further out of the risk curve by going into corporate debt and the crazy thing you know it depends how you define crazy but the debt that they're buying not only is it further out of the yield curve 
I mean, of the risk curve. I mean, it does ha have a higher yield, but it's further out of the risk curve. But the companies that are buying corporate debt are not even American companies, some of them. If, if what I'm reading is accurate, I believe it included Toyota, Daimler. And Daimler, not only is it a, a German company, but the shareholders, some of them are Chinese and uh, also Kuwaiti uh, from reports. So in, in a sense, the uh, if you really want to think of it this way, the uh, American taxpayers are bailing out the Chinese if these corporate uh, debts go bad because the Fed's uh, losses, as Benucci has already said, uh, I mean, Medusha said related to the uh, uh, related to the coronavirus program. So to be fair, I don't know if Medusha meant that all defense losses or only or only defense losses related to these specific programs. So I don't want to over generalize, overextend. But you know, so I can't one hundred percent say that these would be subsidized to the Chinese because I don't know if Medusha meant you know all of the programs, only some of them, but. The larger point is that, you know, the Fed is playing, if you want to think of it this way, kind of fast and loose with our money, and they're taking the profits, the private owners, to a certain extent. I mean, some money still goes to the Fed, I believe, and we're on the hook, to a certain degree, for their losses. Maybe 100%, maybe less, I'm not really sure. And um, it's kind of crazy. So obviously there's protests when things get really bad, and, you know, the government could use the protests as an excuse if they want to do more surveillance, uh, to clamp down. So this just has a lot of repercussions in a lot of areas.